Oh, make some room, make some room. Make some room, yeah. Hi. How are you doing this morning? Really good. Afternoon, it's kind of lunchtime now. I know, it still feels like the morning, but yeah, yeah really good. <laughs> good. So, what bird have you got on your shirt? Owls. I was just looking at that. I know, I love owls. I don't know why. Oh, I feel like owls <laughs> on your shirt. I'm sorry, I should be being more professional than this, but it's just throwing me. <laughs> So, how is the coffee house tour going? Really well, really well. Where it's have you been so far? I've been to, I've I've been to six, six. six. This Garthen. is number seven. This is number seven. So, Bourne, Bournemouth, Southampton. I've been to London and uh, Hertfordshire, and uh, Norwich, and so kind of all over the yeah, place. Yeah, all over. I, yeah, I kind of forget every now and then. So. How are the other unis are uh, comparing to us so far? You guys are awesome. Yeah, we but, are. <laughs> No, like, no, but like you, you're amazing. Honestly, everyone says Look that. Look at when that. They come yeah, there's such because sincerity awesome. there in her face. We are yeah. awesome guys. <laughs> I'm, you are, you are fantastic. Honestly, this is really, really welcome <laughs> to come into this. So, well, you're you're good as well, I suppose. Yeah, we were fantastic. <laughs> but. Well, thank, thank you for having me. So, it's all right. so how did you actually come to be involved in the in the coffee house tour in the first place? I'm actually not. I actually don't know exactly how it happened, <laughs> but I, um, my, my manager heard about it and I was lucky enough to get picked by them to go on the tour. Um, but yeah, before I knew it, um, we were talking about it and there was 20 dates and I guess, yeah, so, but as soon as I heard about it, I knew, I knew it was a great idea, like such a good idea, so yeah. So what have you done in the past before you've moved on to Coffee House? Yeah, sure. So tour, I mean, I've only been on tour once before and I supported a guy called Matt Corby. If anyone is a fan, he's amazing. Um, so I did that and I've played other support slots in London and around. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the second tour I've done and definitely the biggest. Um, two shows a day, 10 days. So yeah, it's pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. Well, you say it's the biggest, but I mean, it's quite intimate generally. You join the, join like being up and, up and close personal with everyone? Yes, it's very different, like to doing a, a, a bigger show, I guess, and, and not really getting to meet as many people. But I, I quite like doing the intimate shows. I mean, if people are listening, it, it doesn't really matter the size. And that's, that's for real, like that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if people are paying attention and they enjoy it, and then people say, you know, I love your music, or whatever, then that's, it's worth it. So would you rather be playing to a pub full of five people than an arena of thousands <laughs> if the five people were really into it i guess i guess as if long they're as really nice people yeah, yeah. Well, so I mean, me and you said for example <laughs> yeah if you guys were there yeah fine. definitely well i mean if those thousand people were talking i don't know do you mean? <laughs> it'd still be pretty awesome but um but yeah i don't really don't mind as long as people are hearing the music and they're liking it yeah so you are you wanting to go on and do more to um big tours yes definitely definitely well, if, if you could be anywhere in 10 years time you know in terms of career and life and country if you know you want to be somewhere abroad where would you be <laughs> well I'm from Australia so I'd probably like to be back home but I have this like secret kind of dream I guess to like be really big in Asia it's not <laughs> a secret uh -huh. anymore then <laughs> well it's just a bit silly like it's not it's just a bit different well it's I just don't know why but I love Asia and I just I would love to be able to tour there do you know what I mean? That's kind yeah. of, that would be incredible. That's the dream. I just love the people there too. Like I just, yeah, I love and it. Any specific parts of Asia or just generally? Just generally, like just in general. Cause it's so close to Australia. So I've been there quite a bit just on holiday and to get to England, you have to pass through there. So yeah, you're quite far from home. Yes, very, very far. Uh, how, how are you finding England? Like how, do you prefer it to Australia? Do you, is there a, it's just it's really different. Poisonous spiders, I know that much. Yeah, yeah, when I see a spider here now, I get shocked. I'm like, I actually realise that I don't see them. So back home, I'm so used to, like, I used to have a broom that I would leave at the end of my, like, walkway to my house because every single night when I would come home, this same spider... Oh would, my gosh, it had a vendetta against yeah, you. Yeah, he did. kept coming back. He would spin this huge web, like, massive, and so I'd have to get the broomstick and... Or if the broomstick wasn't there, I would have to call someone in the house <laughs> and be Get like, come I, come, I can't come inside. Someone needs to come call out. Call for help. So it was, and he's, he's huge, like, and he's just sitting right in the middle of it and I can't get through him. Oh, well, may, may, maybe he just liked you. Maybe he just sort of wanted to nestle up there. Every night, every morning, he would be there. So yes, he obviously likes maybe he just my need, corridor. Maybe he just needs friends. Yeah, maybe he's lonely. He's got lonely plenty spider. of friends in Australia. But yeah. yes, lots of spiders. Now, on a, more, on a personal note, mm. I've heard some Australian slang, and I don't know if this is true. <laughs> I saw it online. 
Yeah. There's two phrases that I want to know. If, if it's genuine Australian slang sure. right here. The first one, it's, it's, got a, it's got a word in that I'll change because it's a bit rude. <laughs> first one is, don't pee on my back and tell me it's raining. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> really? Don't pee on my back. Uh, to be fair, do I, don't, I don't know what it could mean. Like, do I don't what, really that, understand. Do you know what it means? Like, do you know what he's I, trying to say? I, I think it means sort of, don't, I don't know, go behind my back and... and don't okay, tell me yeah, I can, kind of, I can see. It doesn't surprise me. Like, I'm sure that's Australian, but <laughs> I, 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 I can't say I've heard that. I'm sorry. That's right. The second one was fits like a bum in a bucket. <laughs> fits like a bum in a bucket. Yeah. Like this um, morning, when I put on the shirt, mm. fits like a bum in a bucket. And then I came down here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. so sorry, but I, have, I don't know that one I either. Don't, I don't think they're genuine right I, there, Yusuf. But once again, they sound Australian to me. It sounds like that's... I'm sure I would eventually hear so that went, So if I go to Australia and use this, people won't know what I mean. They, they might. Yeah. Who knows? But if you went it's to Sydney, show, right? no. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll probably think you're from somewhere else in Australia. But. I'll give it a shot, though. Yeah, you should, definitely. Use okay. all the slang that you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe get back to the music now? Have you, have you got any more slang or... No... No, we're slang. good. <laughs> no, we're all right. Carry okay. on. So, cool. how did you get into music and how did you get started? Um, I started very young. Um, I guess I, I started in like choirs and, and all that and playing like the saxophone and really cool. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, for like nine years. But I think I, I was trained in piano as well, so I think it kind of taught me about music. But I, I probably never loved it when I was doing those things, maybe because it wasn't what I loved about it. I don't yeah. know. But, but I think when I got a bit older, when I was about 13, I was over here in high school, and all my friends um, loved music, and they would play gigs, and they were like forming bands. And so I guess I just got into that, and I started learning guitar when I was 13, and then I had to move back to Australia, and that was just really hard because I felt like I was taken out of the yeah. music as well because back home it's just so different and where I went to school was very different. So I mean, how, how is the music scene in Australia? Because the only I can I'm been racking my brains, the only band I can think of is Flight of the Concords. That's the only Australian. Yeah, that's not even right, Yusuf. Oh, we're, we're, so oh. we're, we're so close, it's fine. Um, <laughs> they are hilarious. Actually, great story. Pablo over here was the runner up in Spain for being the the voice, like the overdubbing, you know how you have to yeah, overdub. Uh, he was uh, going to be the voice of what you that's mean? so cool. Brett of Brett. Yeah. So he, yeah. Would you would you have done it in Australian accent as well? <laughs> Spanish and an Aussie accent. No, it was proper Spanish. Proper. It was proper Spanish, yeah. but he would have been. Australian Brett. again, isn't it? From New Zealand. And it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> People get us confused. It's fine. Um, sorry. <laughs> but no, that is cool. Cool there? fact. But yes, the Australian uh, music scene. It's just very different. It's. I mean, in London, you can play anywhere. And you can be any style of music and have people care. But I think back home, I just didn't know where to start and it doesn't feel as big. And I mean, probably to some people that's a good thing, but I found that I just didn't, I just didn't know where to start. And for some reason, I felt like I did over here. And I, I, yeah, I wanted to come back, so. Well, have you been to Leicester before though? No, this never. Is your first time? Yeah, my first time. I'm sorry, it's a bit... It looks yeah, nice the, the, on a sunny day. The it's weather's not, not yeah. amazing today. And to when be fair, it, Leicester looks a bit grey when, when the sun's not out. It looks grey at the best of times. That's yeah. Okay, but, I mean, <laughs> Sometimes it does look grey everywhere, doesn't it? That's yeah. Cool. Have, you, have you seen much of City or have you just come straight down here? It's just straight here, so yeah. But we might check it out after on the way to the next, <laughs> the next it's location. Worth, it's worth a wander about. <laughs> yeah, well, look, I mean, everywhere we've been... We were in Norwich yesterday and it's just beautiful. Like, I'm so green on the way. And, and uh, We had a little chat before the interview and we were talking about the Waffle House in Norwich because I actually <laughs> come from Norwich originally. And if any of you ever go to Norwich, go to the Waffle House. Absolutely. Because basically you, you get dinner served on a waffle and then you, for pudding, you have a waffle. It's, it's, it's fantastic, is it and not? And you can have whatever you want on the waffle. You can have, like, bolognese or curry. See, earlier I used the term waffle-tastic. waffle and I got <laughs> See, I got shunned and I got told, don't say no, that, Hannah. I, I, no. But I'm going for it. I'm going don't, for it. Don't listen to them. No. I can see them shaking their heads, but I went for it. <laughs> use that word. Although on Twitter, I, um, you actually put, asked the five best places to eat in Norwich. Did I? <laughs> oh, oh yes, well I asked the best places. I was like, please, anyone, tell me what's good. Is that where you got the Waffle House? That's from? where I got the Waffle House, and another place, but the Waffle House was, as soon as I saw Waffle House, I was like. You have to go there. Done. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I, I was trying to, uh, to save you going on Twitter tonight and asking the best places to eat in Leicester. I tried to um, make a little <laughs> list. Oh. I've, only, I've got all of two places. Okay, tell me. My kitchen, or there's a chicken shack just down the road. And when you say my kitchen, do you mean, I mean your kitchen? I mean my kitchen. Okay. Leicester isn't known as for its cuisine. Oh. The I was sitting there simple thinking, cookie dinner. Everything. I mean, I maybe wouldn't, I'd go for the chicken place I if I were you. The chicken but place. They, they do a good burger and, and chips for they one good chips. Nine. I don't, well, the little tiny ones. Oh, the skinny ones. Yeah, they're awful. Uh, yeah, no. England does good chips, so I Le- like food. Leicester doesn't. No, that's a shame. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like we're not talking too much enough about music. We're getting a bit sidetracked. Okay. We keep like getting distracted. What else what? do you want to ask me? I don't know. Do you want to play some more music so we can get back on track? Would you like to play some more music? I'd love to. Uh, uh, what songs are you going to play for us? Um, we're going to do two covers in these next four. Um, two of my favourite songs. One of them is kind of old, um, but still an incredible song. And then, yeah, the other one is High Hopes by Codaline. So that's a more new one. I like always a, find it interesting asking people how you choose your covers. Is it, yeah, do you yeah. always go for something you enjoy or do you go look for potential within a song? Which way around do you... Both. I think, both. I mean, I'm not really the kind of person that will want to do a cover because it's going to be the next hit. Um, yeah. I have to really like it and I have to like the, the, the musicality of it. So the chords and the melody and the lyrics. And so then, because then it doesn't matter how you play it, it's still a good song. Yeah. But then we can change it without like taking away from the song. Yeah, make um, it your own. So yeah, the other cover we do is In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. And it's, oh, it's, it's my favourite song ever. <laughs> and I think it's because I've heard so many theories about what it means and it's just so interesting to me. But the, the yeah, just the way that he wrote it. But we do it very differently, but I was yeah. that's famous for it's massive and the drums all kick in. Yeah, see, we don't do that. And you just got a So you either oh, hate interesting. me or, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, Code Loin's, uh, Code Loin? Code Loin. Yes. They're a great choice as well. I've had yeah. that song in my head for about the last two, three days. Yeah. And I turned up this morning just going, oh, I've got this song in my head. And then I heard you sound checking it, so yeah. that's, that's cheered me up a little it's bit. It's such a beautiful song. It's so, really cool. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll let you get on if okay, I cool. take your yeah. mic and you go set up.